This was the tourist heart of Nova Friburgo. Now, it's waist high in mud. Days ago, this town got a month's worth of rain in just a few hours. Rivers burst their banks, and whole hillsides covered in houses crashed into the town. Total state of calamity. Total. With 230 confirmed dead and many more missing, Nova Friburgo is one of the city's hardest hit by flooding in Brazil. This school has been converted to a morgue, where survivors wait to identify their loved ones. Many of the bodies are those of women, children, and the elderly. I didn't lose anyone, but he lost a daughter, and a friend lost her mother. She just identified her. And so we're just leaving it all to God. With more rain expected in the region, many are trying to get out while they still can. It isn't easy. Fuel supplies are short, and the road out of the city was damaged in the floods, the one open lane mostly restricted to emergency vehicles. But residents like Marie's Ventura say they have no choice. I'm leaving because there's no electricity anywhere. There's no water, there's no food. I have no food at home. They're only letting 10 people at a time in the supermarket, so I'm going to a relative's place. Nova Friburgo relies heavily on tourism to support the local population. Even once the debris has been cleared and residents return, it may be a long while before the region can dig itself out financially.